good morning um so i wanted to do a recording do not mind the bed head um and the raspy voice i just woke up and um for some reason my teeth i went to the dentist last week um on friday and my teeth still hurt the bottom row it's always my problem area but i'm super sensitive uh to the pain and it just it hurts when i talk so it's I'm lisping a little bit because it hurts. But anyway, um, I wanted to do a more of a dedication video to um, some of my family members that I'm missing that are, you know, passed on. And um, I believe that they're in heaven and cannot wait to see them again. Um, but those that kind of know me, I've kind of shared into this, but I don't really delve into it too much because it makes me very sad and depressed. Um, my birthday's coming up, and the only reason why this month, the month of August every year is very difficult for me, um, because I share so many birthdays with so many of my family members that have passed on, um, so I miss them a lot, a, t a lot. Um, my Aunt Ruth, her birthday is on the 1st of August, um, and she was the one that taught me how to play piano, um, and she... Um, was just a sweet lady, you know, and I miss her a lot. Um, and then my grandfather, his birthday was on the 13th. Um, and they both passed away within months of each other the year I got married. Um, which for me was devastating because I really wanted, um, my family to be there, you know, and they both, um, had a very hard time to watch them transition on um actually I don't think anyone in my family that I've seen transition on was easy to watch um there's a lot of family members that um that I miss and I actually get I have a couple of friends that joke with me all the time um so I'm actually sitting in my front living room and this is my grandmother's um floral chair and I used to love this every time I would go visit for the summer or for Easter break or whatever, um, this was always a chair I always wanted to sit in because it was in her formal living room and we weren't technically supposed to be in there unless it was like a party or something. Um, but this was always my favorite because it has a nice little big ottoman um, and it's old fashioned and it's made from like, it's real furniture, it's heavy. Um, and then um, before my grandmother went into a nursing home, um, they were trying to help sell her home and clean out her house. Well, they asked if, uh, if I, since I'm the only one in, out of my brothers, uh, that owns a home, my mom asked if I wanted the furniture and I immediately said yes, because it's gorgeous. Um, I'll try to do a tour before I finish. It fits in my room already. Like you can see already this floral chair just goes well with this red wall the red wall was already here I had it I didn't have to change a thing um, and then the only thing other thing we've added was a piano um, but anywho besides the point and I had a friend saying oh well if you don't use the furniture you shouldn't have it I'm like I'm gonna just use the furniture then because it's I'm not getting rid of it um, my grandmother passed away if I have my dates correct, I believe it was last year, and that was difficult as well um, to see because she was so ready to go, but we were all wanting her to stay, and it took for my mom to say, like, no, it's okay, um, and it's just tough to think about and reminisce, and um, my anniversary is even coming up, too, in a few months, and I just remember this time frame when all this happened. You know, I was within a Bible study group that I'm still friends with, actually, most of the people that I've met through it, um, just sharing this part of it, what was going on and how hard it was. Um, I just, I just miss them. I miss them a lot, you know, and what hurts even more is that I am so far away from all my other family members that I haven't seen probably since the last reunion on the one side of the family and then I'm so far away from my parents and brothers and then makes me miss, um, you know, them that much more, you know, cause we're not promised tomorrow. We don't know when, um, we're going to be 
transitioned over. Um, you know, I have a grandmother in California I rarely get to see. I didn't get to see my great-grandmother that lived in Oklahoma, you know, before she passed on. And uh, it's just making me really in my feelings. In August, it always hits me, you know, because one, I'm getting a year older. Two, all those that I miss that share the same birthday month with me. You know, I just miss them a lot and I have their pictures. Um, and all their obituaries, or not obituaries, but their um, funeral pamphlets, you know, with me and um, then I have my wedding pictures on the wall and it just reminds me of how many weren't able to actually physically be there. I know they were there in spirit, but at least I feel that they were. Um, I even have my grandfather's, uh, he collected coffee mugs. And anytime he would travel, um, he'd always get a coffee mug. And he had them displayed above uh, the cabinets in their kitchen. And I, re I replicated it. Um, so I have all the ones that he displayed above. But then I also use his coffee mugs. Which, that was another thing I was told by a girlfriend. That, um, I shouldn't have so many coffee mugs. I'm like, you're not parting with my coffee mugs. Sorry. It's, because the way I feel, and I don't know, um, if any of you listening are spiritual like me. Um, but I believe if I'm sitting in my grandmother's chair and I'm drinking from one of my favorite coffee mugs from my grandfather... That I'm sitting down having coffee with them. And I miss them the most. Um, especially in this time frame. Because they used to always um, call. And sing me happy birthday. Which was always one of my sweetest memories. It was such a small gesture. But it was just amazing. And I want to pass it on to my son. Just a memory of him having. Um, of his grandparents. You know, either set or whatever. Just something small. It doesn't have to be the same memory as I had. But I want him to have something to know, like, that was special. You know? Um, it just bums me out growing up, you know? Um, having a life and uh, getting things taken care of and stuff. It always brings you further away from your family. And I hate that. And they understand, they do, you know, because they were there one day, once before. So they understand the distance and working and having a life and only being able to visit maybe once a year. But just reminiscing, it's just, I wish I had more visits with them. I wish I had, and this is even going to everybody, you know, I have um, family in Louisiana, you know, um, so many that I've missed. Fam I've learned that family is one of the most important things in your life. And no matter how far away you live, there are always going to be family. No matter if you have disagreements or fights or, you know, differences of, of, of opinion on how to live, um, there's still family. Um... That's my dog barking. I have to go get him. Darn it. But there's a thing in my room, actually, since I'm getting up anyway, since my dog's barking. So I can show you. Sorry, my room is a little bit of a mess. But behind me, it's a beautiful white couch with the same floral print uh, pillows. It's a little messy because then my husband likes to sit there and drink his coffee. And then behind me here, that my cat's laying on is two chairs that she loved. Um, my son's bookshelf is kind of messy, but right behind me, I posted, um, family is trust, warmth, smiles, hugs, joy, blessings, love, laughter, strength, forever. And it's one of my favorite. Um, I had it for years and I never put it up, and then I finally did. I have to finish this wall. It's going to be all family photos. Um, and then on this wall, I have all my wedding photos. And the piano I found years ago that my husband let me buy during a snowstorm, mind you. Um, but yeah, this furniture fits perfectly. And then let me show you 
without showing you my messy kitchen because <laughs> it's messy but if you can see above my head those are my grandfather's coffee mugs I refuse to let them go they will be there forever um, until I have to give them to Dylan to take care of <laughs> but anywho I just wanted to share that with you let me go get my dog really quick before I sign off sorry about that um, now I'm letting my other dog out but it was one of the many things that I've learned in my short 30s, I'll be 32, 32 years, that um, family is important. And it makes me it makes me miss them. Um, so this is more of my me trying to say hello to them and saying how much I miss them. Um, just it's the, my husband listens to the country sometimes and there's one song that I know he plays and it always tears me up which isn't old or it isn't new or anything like that but it always tears me up because it has me reminding me of all my family members and how I do wish it was in driving distance but wishing heaven wasn't so far away I don't know if I'm even saying the name of the song right I'll try to put it in the description below um, for anyone that doesn't know it but it always tears me up because it makes me think of them you know, and in the song, he's describing how when he's driving away, he sees them in the rearview mirror waving goodbye to them. And it's like, I sometimes wish it was that easy. I wish it was a drive away where we can go visit them and spend the day with them and then, you know, be able to say goodbye. You know? Like, I know I had a chance to say goodbye to all of them when they were still here. Well, most of them. Not all of them, but... It just makes me want to have one more chance to talk to them. So, I don't know. But, that was just my thought process today. Um, August is, always has me feeling like this. My birthday's in, I don't know, a couple of days. My mother-in-law's is actually tomorrow. So I have to make sure I call her. Um, and we'll be there to visit them soon. So, that'll be a nice little treat. But, um, me and my husband, we were just pondering on it like we need to spend more family time we're so so far away from everybody but we're really in driving distance to both sides of the family so there's no reason for us not to spend more family time together so because you know deciding to live in a state that's you know so far away from both families it's we don't get family time so we definitely do enjoy more family time when we're when we're with them it makes it more special so, anyone that's in the same situation, just, you know, I feel for you. I'm there with you. Um, yeah. Sorry. But anywho, um, a new hair video should be posting up soon, hopefully. Um, I'm going to try to post something soon. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do because I just did my clarification. Woo woo! It got posted. Um, but yes, I do hope to have something new for you soon. Um, if not, then I will try to do something crafty. Because I definitely have some craft ideas I have, especially for recycled goods. So, that's going to be fun, especially since I'm in my mom's club. And I'm trying to do more things like that, um, especially with my son. So, I'm excited about that. So, maybe. I don't know how I'm going to do it crafting, because I don't have a stand yet for my um, recording device so we'll have to see how that works out but I'm going to sign off if you like this content which I understand if not totally fine if not um, then hit the like button down below if you want to continue to see more of my material just hit that subscribe button and if you want to be notified just hit that notification bell down below toodles